I think uh, you know. I think firstly, it's a it's a, thank you, Joel, for putting this uh, uh, panel together. I think it's uh, very timely. But you know, and I think what we really need to realize is if you go to the fundamentals of the issue, that blue economy is not really a new concept. Because as long, I mean, if you see civilization has always existed next to water, be it river bodies, be it oceans, and uh, essentially humans have always benefited from. the the ocean so the i mean blue the concept of the blue economy is actually as old as civilization itself and i think it predates all other economies be it the industrial economy the coal economy the metal economy the bronze economy you know it i mean even before the iron age the blue economy existed but i think what we are looking for today is how do we create a sustainable blue economy i think that is the key aspect that we need to debate on that is the key aspect that we need to discuss on because what is the biggest problem in today's world thanks to due to overfishing we've had all sorts of issues wherein the seafood st uh, stock of the world has depleted you know as a seafood eater myself you see smaller and smaller fish available now in the markets because now they are instead of waiting for the fish to mature and grow they go and fish too early secondly oil spills excessive exploitation of uh, oil and gas excessive exploitation of various forms of minerals from the sea has also led to tremendous damage to our oceans and of course the plastic menace is something which has been uh you know which we i mean i uh, you know more we speak about and more we talk about the better and which is actually destroying our ocean so i think what we really need to debate on is sustainable blue economy and i think there were some great ideas that were made earlier but if you ask me what i would like to focus on and both as in my business is i am also on the board of climate groups so one of the things we focus on is sustainability and uh, you know i'm also a world economic forum young global leader so through that we also push on circular economies but if you look at it what should be the five areas of of what we need to focus on in blue economy number one is blue energy by blue energy what we mean is not only offshore wind which is something which is increasingly spoken about but also blue energy in terms of using the oceans eventually for tidal energy using wave energy and also look at inter country connectivity for example we had our friend from sri lanka who spoke a lot about the blue economy but as humongous potential between sri lanka and india for example northern sri lanka has very high wind resource because they get both the retreating monsoon as well as the forward monsoon and that's not been exploited can we do an undersea link from sri lanka to india and export that power to india because the demand is all completely in india so wind wave energy ocean energy of course that's still more expensive but it's expensive when you only consider the cost the minute you start pricing in externalities that come from coal that come from nuclear that come from gas suddenly it does not become very expensive the biggest problem today in economics is we're not considering externalities number 2 aquaculture we i mean already a lot of people have spoken about aquaculture so i will not go deeper into it number 3 is coastal and maritime tourism something again we need to focus on we've got phenomenal islands and sri lanka itself is a great place for tourism so is bangladesh so is the andaman nicobar islands myanmar so the entire bay of bengal is phenomenal for tourism uh, we are also, and again one aspect which we need to focus on is blue biotechnology now what is blue biotechnology is something that a lot of people always can, you know wonder but the ocean gives with it a large array for example seaweed the usage of seaweed you know and i think uh, dr das can speak far better than me on this but the usage usage of seaweed can range from utilizing it for plant growth stimulants something companies like aqua agri are doing again something that india sri lanka and the region can work together on number 2 is seaweed can be used as carogenin which can also be replaced replacement for gummies so increasingly veganism is growing in the world seaweed is a huge utilization for that the east of the world loves eating seaweed again we as south asians can farm and sell that that is only one aspect algae has humongous aspects in uh, energy in medicine in you know in, in nanotechnology and again we can utilize a lot of blue biotechnology in creating painkillers utilizing ocean of algae etc the two other aspects which one can look at with the blue economy one is on the seabed mineral resources but i would like to check that and say that whatever mining we do on the seabed has to be sustainable should not disturb the and, and of course and should not disturb the marine life and of course that would ensure and entail us having to increase the cost but that cost is worth it for saving the environment and also the other aspect of uh, uh, is which what was mentioned earlier by our friend from the dhaka chamber of commerce mr mahmud was on the uh, the uh, oil and gas part but again 
one has to be very careful in terms of how we utilize this oil and gas so of course finally i think what we need to do to ensure that the blue economy is successful number one and thanks to joel we were arranged this event is promoting a partnership approach between all members especially in south asia utilizing that to further boost investment and increase uh, investment across the spectrum in this number 3 is make a joint strategy and chambers of commerce such as ourselves and various governments can play a role with institutions in, and of course institutions such as uh, the marine research institute can play in creating the strategy and that would mean we need to do proper spatial planning of the ocean floor proper resource planning decide what goes where so it is a holistic approach rather than a uh, you know piecemeal approach proper maritime surveillance because i think we can work together as south asia for proper maritime surveillance so as to reduce the cost and formally come together and you know because ultimately we might be different countries into politically but the ocean is one the ocean does not you know that same ocean touches the shores of india and i was recently had the pleasure of uh, being in dhanushkodi and you can literally see sri lanka a few miles away from there same thing with the andamans from the southernmost point indira point indonesia with aceh is not too far so the ocean does not know boundaries and the ocean does not know uh, any political boundaries so we have to work together because it's a common resource and only then can we and i i, I never like the word of exploiting economic resources i would say we can harness it and that is the right word for us to use again thank you joel and i look forward to engaging with your platform as we go further thank you thank you very much uh, prame uh, uh, amia uh, you've set a blueprint it seems you've set a roadmap uh, it seems we mostly have to twist it adapt it adapt it and and move ahead uh, uh, so thank you again for giving unfair competition uh, to uh, think tanks uh, from the the chambers of commerce no jokes about thank you so much my dear friend i think many of your uh suggestions analyses and proposals are food for thought uh, for uh, for us co organizers not mostly the think tank but mostly uh, more importantly the afd for the other colleagues i keep also your idea of communicating more across the chambers of commerce that's the only that's only the first exercise uh, sure you people don't need us to do that but we, we would be happy to Uh, and maybe with our nub center and other centers and uh, in three countries to coordinate with that um and and let me take this opportunity to uh, excuse here mani singal from the uh, fiki who had committed to 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 join us but has had a unforeseeable last minute uh, issue to to join us and is joining on on our third workshop very quickly you mentioned the sea with that's an important factor that connects to uh, biotechnology and bioagriculture uh, something that has not been mentioned into that is the is the adaptation is the co benefits on adaptation and attenuation uh, we increasingly understand that agriculture this stands true for blue economy agriculture so for blue agriculture uh, fixes as the ability to uh, to to fix co2 um so there there are high co benefits here and at the period in where the world in terms of green finance or blue finance is desperately look, seeking for uh, projects for co benefits between adaptation and 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 uh, and at in mitigation that that's very uh, very important 